Hi, everybody. This is Joel Freudman, co-founder and CEO of True Precious Metals. And I'm going to take you on a quick spin through the exciting exploration targets that are shaping up for our summer 2023 field season. This is a map of our Golden Rose project. Uh, everything in white outline is 100% owned by True at this point. Uh, we've exercised our option with Altius Minerals, who optioned us the initial property. We bought or staked everything else around. The only thing we don't currently own 100% yet would be these orange claims, which are currently under that we have under option from a third party. So we have a we at this point control the entire project of Golden Rose end to end from east, right over here, and just off the map is Marathon Gold, only ten kilometers away. And as you probably know, they're building their five million ounce Valentine Gold project into an operating mine for early twenty twenty five. And then just off the map here to the southwest is an Australian company, Matador Mining, and they have eight hundred forty thousand ounces of gold. And so this, this line here is pretty important, the Cape Ray Valentine Lake Shear Zone. I talk about this quite a lot. It runs from Marathon just off the map all the way through 40 kilometers of strike length on our Golden Rose project to Matador Mining in the southwest. And this is a known deposit-bearing structural corridor, or in other words, it's a very good house in the right neighborhood, and we control 40 kilometers of it. We have an interesting little extra feature here, which is this, this uh gold dashed line cape ray shear zone this is a splay fault in other words this is a side street off the main street it's an additional 20 kilometers and this is shaped up very nicely for gold and copper through soil sampling as well as in drilling so just to run you through some of the top targets we're, we're most interested in for this year's field program number one is going to be our marks pond target right here uh, these grades in this case would be for channel sampling channel sampling is as, as high a degree of confidence as you can get before drilling and we have a series of uh, channel sampling intercepts here, which are just, just that surface of about two meters to two and a half meters at 20, 30, 40, 50 plus grams per ton. And we did have a couple of intercepts like this, 100 grams plus per ton, 90 grams a ton. These are very high grade gold numbers. The majority of projects will never see these kind of numbers. So we're in a very fortunate position to have discovered this area. And we're certainly going to be firming up work on this uh, area throughout Q2 with a view towards drilling, probably you're looking at Q3 three later this field season. We just wanna make sure we're doing all the proper homework to give ourselves the best chance of hitting gold and good numbers at that in, uh, in our drill program. So Mark's Pond's a high priority target for us. This would be number one. Number two is Jacob's Pond. This is on our the, the part of the property we own 100%. Jacob's Pond is actually where we hit copper and silver in medium and high grades in drilling in late 2022. And this is along this side street, this Cape Ray, kind of display fault here. And so we're going to be doing additional work around here, things like structural mapping, trenching, trying to get a good handle from the surface of how to attack this area again in further drilling to try and get even better numbers for copper and silver, as well as gold. So these are our top two targets on the property. There's kind of an, I guess, an embarrassment of targets uh, has been phrased to me by other people elsewhere on the property, including some grass. So that would be a number of the other boxes. There are a bunch of areas in the project we barely set foot on because it's a massive property, about 270 square kilometers. And so in the southwest here, we have high grade gold and float samples, which means we haven't found the source rock, but we have high grade gold. We have a number of other targets up here in the northeast, things like Rich House um, and Jen's Pond and Rose Gold. There's no shortage of places for us to get to. And so in addition to the high priority targets, Mark's Pond for gold, Jacob's Pond for copper and silver, we're also going to be sending people early in the field season to do some early stage work on a number of other prospective areas on the property, like this eastern northeastern peninsula right across from the lake from Marathon Gold, only 10 kilometers away. This east part of Woods Lake, where we've drilled gold in a majority of holes down here at South Woods Lake. Well, just east of it, there are high grade gold and rock samples. And so we're going to be looking to firm up the you know, targets here. And then this whole corridor up here, the Cape Ray Splay Fault between Mark's Pond Gold Target and Rich House four kilometers away, where there is a historical drill hole that hit good grade of gold, plus there's indicators for base metals, very interestingly up here, including copper and zinc. So, you know, you're probably getting the sense there is a robust pipeline of gold targets, as well as other mineral targets on the Gold Most Project. And we're going to be looking to attack the highest priority targets as cost effectively, but aggressively as possible in Q2 and into Q3, with a view towards drilling the top targets later in 2023. So thanks and certainly stay tuned.